everybody. So this week you're going to be required to do a toxicology lab or more so me and Max are going to be doing a toxicology lab for you. Hello. So this week he helped me set up the lab and he's going to kind of help us go through it so I'm not teaching no one. <laughs> it feels a little more natural this way if I'm at least teaching someone in the video. So he helped me crush up the pills. You want to show him how you did it? So that's kind of the funnest part of the lab if we were in school is y'all actually get to use the mortar and the pestle to crush up the over-the-counter drugs um, and that's what he got to do and he did have fun crushing it right? Yes I did. <laughs> so he crushed them up and put them in there and you'll see those in a second how we're going to test them. So how we end up testing them is called a presumptive test. So a presumptive test is a type of color test. Well a color test is a type of presumptive test and that's the kind that we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking for color changes and if it dissolves or doesn't dissolve or if it fizzes or doesn't fizz that kind of basic stuff but what a presumptive test is is it is a test that tells me it probably is the drug that i'm wondering if it is um, it doesn't tell me for sure that would come later in a confirmation test which you would learn more about in your notes this week but we're doing presumptive testing which is usually just a quick fast cheap way to be like i'm pretty sure that we're dealing with aspirin or we're dealing with cocaine because you can test for illegal drugs as well so here's a quick example whoop, of a badly drawn marquise test right here so a marquise test is an example of a presumptive color test basically if you were on a crime scene if you were at a crime scene and you thought the suspect had drugs on them, you, let's say you thought they had heroin. So if you thought they had heroin, you'd put a little bit of their drug inside this container. It's like a little bottle, a little vial. And you would put it in there, shake it up. And if it turned the color right here, so this one says heroin, if it turned, these colors are not completely accurate. These are my markers. But it's like a brownish color. If it turned that color, then you were like, okay, it's probably heroin. I need to take the suspect into custody. You need to take the drugs into custody and move on to confirmation tests. So it works kind of like that. So we're going to do something similar, but with over-the-counter drugs. All right, so here's the part where your assignment comes in. I'm about to start doing the lab with Max. He's going to help me do part of the lab. Laugh, laugh. Okay. <laughs> and then while we're doing the lab, you're going to fill out your lab that I gave you in Canvas. So like the first two pages are information you'll probably need to answer the questions, but they're nothing, there's nothing to write down here, okay? The second two pages you will fill out, so I'll get a little closer. You'll be filling out mostly this chart right here as I'm going through the lab, okay? Now if you'll notice the first column I did fill in for you because it's just a little hard to completely see it and you'll see why in just a second. So here we go. We are moving into the lab portion, so you need to be ready to write these things down. So if you need to pause and go figure out what you can be writing down, you might want to do that now. So now I'm going to move our video down. And you can see right here is what I was talking about, our little dishes that we have made. Um, we have aspirin, Alka-Seltzer, sodium bicarbonate, which is basically baking soda, but they put it in heartburn medication, acetaminophen, Excedrin, and then we have an unknown. So this unknown, you'll hopefully figure out by the end of it to answer your lab questions. That would be the goal, is to figure out the unknown. Now, if you notice, I've already started it. I've started it just for time's sake. So what I have put inside the first one already is universal indicator. Universal indicator tells me pH. So basically based on the color changes it turned and on these little strips I put in, you would look at this. So this is a pH indicator that I would match the strips to to know what pH it is, if it's acidic or basic. The more red it is or pink, the more acidic it is. So we're looking at some acids on the top and the bottom. What is it the bluer it gets, the more basic it is. So basically these two are our most blue and this is more of a green acetaminophen. So acetaminophen is the kind of drug you would take for a headache, pain reliever, fever reducer, but it is not as acidic as our other pain relievers and fever reducers. So if you have like 
tummy issues and you don't and you have a headache, then you probably don't want to take aspirin or excedrin because they are very acidic. So just kind of trivia there. All right, so now Max is going to put in our next one. Our next test for you to write down your lab is to put in HCl, hydrochloric acid, which mimics stomach acid. All right, Max, you're gonna come up here and put in our drops of hydrochloric acid so you can tell them what happens. What is that? I already told you, it's hydrochloric acid, and it mimics stomach acid, and you're gonna put it in the middle. So right here, just put one to two drops. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Keep putting it. You don't have to be afraid of it. Push it till you can like see some liquid. There you go. Next one. Oh, that one's having oh. a reaction. Fizzing. Oh, a little bit of fizzing. Whoa, a lot of fizzing. Okay, not really much happening. I have these two right here. Don't touch it, just put it in there. Next one, next one. Okay, so guys, what I'm seeing is we have no reaction. We have no reaction for aspirin. It fizzes for Alka-Seltzer. It fizzes for the sodium bicarbonate. And then we have no reaction for the next three, acetaminophen, um, Excedrin, and the unknown. No reaction, no fizzing, no dissolving. It's just kind of sitting on top of it. All right, the next one, is iron nitrate. And we're gonna, mostly iron nitrate is going to be used for a color change. It looks like honey. It does, but we'll see if it turns. Oh, whoa, a lot of fizzing. Whoa, it's yellow. That's red. Jeez. Oh. That one's uh, getting dark. It's black, pitch black. Uh huh. There we go. Okay, so what we're looking at is for aspirin, it's kind of looking. Like it didn't fully dissolve and it's kind of like a muddy, orangey, yellowy color. For Alka-Seltzer, it's more of like a neon, neon green, yellow color. For the sodium bicarbonate, it's like a gross looking thick putty that's orange. And then acetaminophen is black. And then for Excedrin, it's also looking kind of blackish. And then for the unknown, it's looking more of that like yellowy, orangey kind of color. Okay, so I'm gonna pull it back up. Oh. Now, if you couldn't see that very well at all, then I will take a picture and post that on Canvas as well. All right, thank you guys.